so he really like he the amount of stress it brought on to him mentally was huge so he had a stroke um he had a clot uh, form in his brain and this happened around 2:30 or 3 in the morning and we all woke up and we had no idea what to do and he was gone by the time we woke up and i literally like i literally saw him take his last breath in front of me so he used to do online share trading and that was something that became quite a big thing back then when in 2006 then his online share trading account suddenly crashed so one transaction went really bad and all the transactions that he'd done before that and whatever he had accumulated sort of went down in a go so he really like he the amount of stress it brought on to him mentally was huge so he had a stroke he had a clot form in his brain and i was i was coming back from practice and i reached the house and then my cousin sister was there and i asked her where everyone is and she's like no this is gone for a regular check up so i asked her where they are she told me at this place and and i was like take me there so we went there and then i saw him you know in a in a situation that i'd never seen him before because it was a it was a stroke in the brain he wasn't able to react in the normal manner you know so i saw him like that and then they took him to the operation theater and then it was a very difficult time because they did the operation then he came back home and then he was in rehab but i saw him left side of his body got paralyzed left side vision also got compromised and eventually after a couple of weeks of rehab he got a cardiac arrest actually i was playing a game and we were playing one of these four day games which used to happen at the first class level and i was i was supposed to continue to resume batting the next day and this happened around 2:30 or 3 in the morning and we all woke up and we had no idea what to do and he was gone by the time we woke up and i literally like i literally saw him take his last breath in front of me and i tried to pump his chest and all that nothing worked and then there were few doctors around in that in that area that we lived in we went to their place no one opened the door because it was 3 in the morning we couldn't get any response and then we drove him to the hospital but by the time they tried electric shocks and everything all those kind of things but nothing worked he couldn't recover at all so my my sister and my brother and my mother they were all they all broke down and funnily enough i couldn't cry at all there was no emotion coming out of me and i was i just became blank i couldn't i couldn't register what just happened and then i called my coach in the morning and i asked him or i told him what had happened and then he asked me what do you want to do i said i want to go and play for me leaving a cricket match was something which was not acceptable regardless of what happened in life not going to a match was not an option i ever had or i couldn't register that option in my mind so i left the house i hadn't cried at all nothing no emotion and my family was actually feeling a bit nervous looking at me because i was showing no emotion and everyone was like you know crying and they were emotional and then i went to the game and i picked up a friend of mine again and i told him what had happened he thought i was joking he didn't believe me we kept going we we reached the stadium and when we reached the stadium and i sat in the change room and he told everyone what had happened so when everyone came around me to tell me we are sorry for you and that's the time i really broke down and you know that's the time all that emotion came out and i don't know why i was upset because i was the umpire in the game made a wrong decision and he gave me out when i wasn't out and i was upset because i couldn't be there till the end to make my team win the game and i was really upset about that now i feel like it was probably the most impactful thing that happened in my life because i remember that day i came back from the game after i got out i came back to do the cremation and all the rituals that follow and i remember telling my brother specifically that i am i am going to play for my country and i am going to play this game at the highest level and there's nothing else in life that can distract me anymore because it was my father's vision as well he wanted me to you know play at the highest level and he was really really keen on me playing at the highest level as well so i remember making that pro- promise to my brother and then everything in life became second priority after that incident and cricket was the first priority